yeah, yeah. So, okay, so let's let's break it all the way down there, right? So we go to, to let's go to NOI, then we go to uh, the cash on cash return. Let me get it on the flow, right? So the NOI net operating income, right? So what is that? That's a that's an important thing, man. To, the NOI is divided by the sales price. You get the cap rate. Right. So what's important? Why is why is the cap rate important? Um, the cap rate is very important, man. It's, it's, you have to know what area, um, what the cap rate is in that area. To compare apples to apples in that situation. Right. So what we look at, we look at it probably around eight, uh, eight cap rate. It's kind of my sweet, sweet spot. Now, we can't be in California because that's that's unheard of. We can't be in New York. That's unheard of as well. But you're looking at Texas, you're looking at the mid the Midwest, you can probably you can get those type of uh, cap rates as well. Right? It's a net operating income. So so how do you determine that, man? How do you determine um what the cap rate you're gonna be buying this at? All right? Right. So you do your numbers, right? So once you do once you once you do the your numbers on this particular property and you see exactly what it's producing. So after after the mortgage, right? If you decide to get a mortgage in that situation, after all of the maintenance is taken care of, whatever it is, and you, you say got the net operating income, you divide it by the sales price, and you get the cap rate. Now, if you if you let's say if you do it and it come out to be a six cap, and you say look, you know I want to get it around an eight cap, and of course you got to lower that price to match it up to the eight percent. Say this is the max I can offer you in this situation. Wow. Okay. So I was just, I was just about to ask you. I mean, because Rob, I was literally just about to ask you that. Like, if if a person wants X amount of money and the cap ain't there, we can go back and renegotiate those, you know, that price. Those terms, absolutely, right? absolutely. You, you remember, you 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 make your money on the buy. You make your money on the buy. You set you. It's always in, in this business right here, man. It's all about negotiation. You get what you negotiate. Period. Not what it's worth. You get what you negotiate. Period. So if you're not, if we're not negotiating, we're losing. Period. Because it, it's to be expected. Who's getting Especially sold? With the amount of money that we're investing in these properties, right? You come in, he said, "I want a hundred thousand. You give him a hundred thousand. I'm like, wow, I just got this guy. I would have took eighty, seventy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it don't, it doesn't look good in that situation. All right. So we talked a little bit about okay. So we talked about the cash on cash return. So you want to know what what's the definition of cash on cash return? Is what you're asking me? Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of people, you know, what I mean, like, you know, they don't know what it is. I mean, like, some people just be like, well, what is it? You know, like, if I put something in, will I get back exactly what I put in? Like, is it a double up? Yeah, you know I mean, like, okay, you know I mean? like, yeah. Let me let me give you the technical version of it. All right, so it says, what is the cash on cash return? A cash on cash return is the rate of return often used by real estate transactions. The calculations, the cash income earned at the cash investment in the property. It puts simply, cash on cash return measures the annual return the investor will make on the property in relation to the amount of the mortgage paid off, right? So it show you how quickly you would get your money back. Right, right. Over time. On the deal. Yeah, over time. So, right. so over time. Yeah. So basically what we try to do in, in that situation, we want at least a double uh double digit of return. And I know right. in some markets people say that that's impossible, but it's possible. So we can get a 10, that's that's kind of what we want to be. We, we So uh, when we get our money out there, we want our money to come back to us as fast as possible. So that way we can turn around, maybe refinance that thing, maybe take some money out of it. Now it's 100%, you know, I'm I'm, I'm 100%, um, uh, what, is, what do they call it? I'm 100% away, I'm basically out of this property. I can invest some more money into something else, right? So 100% invest, you know, in that property now. So did that, did that make sense? Ah, did it break up? It's called 100 percent finance in that situation. So if you can do it in one year, two year, whatever the case is, 100 percent finance. And and trying to listen to what you say and how that relates to what I do from a paper perspective. 
uh, because you know, we, you know, one of our measurements, of course, is is we have a fairly elaborate spreadsheet that we use. And I was going to ask you that question: Do you have a, a you know a returns calculator that you plug in a few vari variables, plug in those numbers, and this calculator spits out you know your uh, cash on cash return, you know all the other things, the cap rate, and give you all those numbers. Uh, because acceleration of capital is a big deal, just what you were talking about, to try and what money you get back, how fast you can get it back to reinvest in something else and have your, you know, your capital just exactly. accelerate that fast. So, so uh, you know, that's one of the things that's always curious to me is uh, you had mentioned earlier in this conversation about a broker giving you information, you going through your analysis. Do you have, do you use a returns calculator or anything like that, a spreadsheet of some sort that you plug in at a minimal, minimal amount of information and it spits out all those matrix that you're looking at? Metrics. Exactly. And so, and, and, and that's basically what we do. So we have a, you know, Excel spreadsheet that really kind of breaks it down pretty quick. You just plug in the numbers and you keep moving. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. That, and, that, and you you have to have it something like that. So let me let me break it down a little bit, little bit, little bit clear, little bit, bit clear to you. So, um, so let's say your net operating income, right? So when you do all your numbers and you see what your net is, right? You divide that by the sales price. So let's say a hundred thousand dollars. Your net net operating income is a hundred thousand, right? And then you divide that by sales price. Let's say the sales price is one million two hundred and fifty thousand. So one million two hundred fifty. So you divide the hundred thousand into that, right? And it comes in. It should be an eight cap. That's an eight cap. Did I say that right, man? I'm off, man. I got the Excel spreadsheet. That's what I got, bro. <laughs> so is, so is I'm thinking about cap? the eight cap, right? So ten cap. That's basically what it is. Not an eight cap, not not an eight cap. That means that it is the cash on cash return is eight. That's what I meant by that. Yeah. Perfect. Sweet, I don't know sweet. if I'm saying this right, bro. Am I saying that right? <laughs> yeah, y'all look at me like I'm not saying it right. Am I saying it right? <laughs> yeah, you got it, bro. I don't know. I think you got it right. I think you got it right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.